Hey everyone! Ready for another Thirsty Thursday review with Sydney and Richard? Are you thirsty? We're thirsty. <laughs> and it's Thursday, it so that's kind of automatically taken care of. Yeah. So here we go. Another beer review. Today yeah. we have kind of a special treat, Devil's Backbone. Uh, it's from Virginia, so it doesn't even distribute to our area. But it's pretty big on the East Coast. Um, it's even in Ohio. They actually contract brew it in England. So if you're in England, you might be able to oh. find their IPA there. So yeah, so this is a treat. I didn't realize that this was something not really in the area. So <laughs> he was just like, here's this beer I acquired. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> trying to keep it special. Um, so it's called Danzig? Danzig? Danzig. I don't know if that's a reference to Glenn Danzig, the musician, or something else, but it's a Baltic porter. Um, that's a really interesting style. We've talked about porters before. It's a British style. Um, Baltic porters are basically people in Eastern Europe got a taste for it, and so they just started making their own with local ingredients, including uh, their local lager yeast. So instead of an ale, it's actually a lager. Oh. Man, that just kind of goes over my head. <laughs> Maybe a little too technical, but basically uh, it's going to taste very similar to a porter, just like somehow different, probably in a way you can't really put your finger on unless you've really studied the difference in ingredients. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, yeah, anything else we should know about this? Um, it has won several awards. Uh, Devil's Backbone has won a lot Ooh. of awards. This beer in particular has won three, two silvers and a gold. So, should be good. Well, I'm ready to drink some award-winning beer. <laughs> I only drink gold star beer. I only drink... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 it looks yummy. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a beautiful color. Super dark. God damn! Thank you. Ooh, very roasty on the nose. Yeah, it's super. I was gonna say coffee. Yeah. Like, if you just handed this to me, I would guess there's coffee in it. Yeah. But, um, there isn't. What? Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's yummy. Mm. That is good. It's got a good maltiness, a good richness to it. Um, it's not super heavy. Hmm. There's very little head and just how dark it is and um, how the bubbles are kind of like popping up and dissipating. It kind of looks like Coke. Kind of a weird <laughs> mental thing to get it past. It does kind of look like Coke. Um, but it it is not super duper like carbonated when you drink it. Yeah. It's not Pretty super smooth. Um, you still, you definitely, I definitely feel that like coffee breath aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it, it has a lingering bitterness, but it's not like hot bitterness. It's like toasted bitterness. Mm, this is good. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I envision myself drinking this award winning beer, <laughs> I envision myself like, I don't know, at a sports bar. Oh yeah. Like sure. an evening, like drabby sports bar. Yeah, I'm really, I'm into this one. I think mm -hmm. it's really good and super, it's super easy to drink. Yeah, um, for sure. If you don't mind that coffee aftertaste flavor. Yeah. If you're like super not into beer, but you are into coffee, uh, give this a shot. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's not going to have that same like fizzy, like really strong beer kind of sense. Right, right. Not a lot of hops going on. It's like pretty malty. Yeah. A little sweet, but not really that sweet. Yeah. Um, it's good. I feel like in the past videos, I've kind of like uh, deemed some things as like training wheel things, like a good first go. I think this is a training wheel lager. Okay. Like, I think this is like, some. if you gave this to someone who never had a lager, they wouldn't hate this. Like, That's true. Yeah. Because it's based on a traditional ale style, but it's a lager. So. Yeah. I think this is, I think, if you've never really had lager, never really explored that, and you can get your hands on this, I'd say give it a go. Definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. One to five? 
I give it a four and a half. Whoa. Boom. That is very high. Um, why do you think it's a four and a half? Because I can drink it no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like dark beer. I like things that I can drink no problem. I'm not like fighting back or like, I don't know. It's just, it's easy and simple and my tongue yeah. likes it. And I really appreciate simplicity and... I mean, I do appreciate, you know, more complex things, but simplicity, I think, sometimes is um, underrated. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it a four and a half because I really like it. I definitely agree that simplicity is underrated, especially in beer these days. Um, I just, um, I think I'd give this a three. Um, it's definitely good. Um, it's making me think so much of coffee just in how it's mm. flavored and how it sits on my tongue that I'm almost like what there's no caffeine in this <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah I mean it's definitely good I would definitely recommend it if you uh have this available wherever you are or are able to get some definitely try it out three is pretty neutral in my book I think so. I think of three as above average so I consider it good okay so you've got a, someone who's like, this is above average, and someone who's really enthusiastic about it. What do you think? If you've tried it, you should say something in the comments. Definitely. So we know what you thought, since clearly we're thinking different things here. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, so you know where to find us, right here, Sydney and Richard, on Thirsty Thursdays. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to our feed. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, and... Um, yeah. Until next four. Until next four.